Right, so, oh my gosh, it's all rain on it. I can't see if it's filming. Anyway, um, I'm getting um, asked to talk about talent and gifts, special gifts. A lot of us, everyone has got incredible gifts, but as a child, a lot of our gifts do not get recognised by other people, so we end up pushing it into the darkness. And our creativity and our darkness and our passion is realised in the shadows. Now, if we were able, if there was a society that encouraged those gifts and, and, and encouraged spiritual, spiritual health and spirituality and soul work and connection to self in that way, there would be a way for us to bring people out of the shadows and darkness so that their talents and magic found in the darkness because it is through pain that things are ignited obviously in the last video i think i titled it but i'm not sure i said it is the lower we go the higher we ascend the higher we rise so if there was a culture that supported people coming out of their darkness where a lot of people have awakenings get psychically connected connect to the other side become mediums become artists become poets because it's all through pain that that kind of stuff is activated um we'd all be well, I was going to say we'd all be magical. We are magical in any way, but we'd all be able to tap into a whole other skill set that, that the majority of people don't. We don't talk about because we don't know about it, and so things tend to remain in the shadows and the hidden sort of societies, hidden cultures behind closed doors. And then it's because people are in the full flow of allowing and surrendering to their creativity that some of us empaths um, we, we're not taught, we learn later on um, and it's not a victim thing it's just about boundaries we can lose ourselves in the emotion we can lose ourselves in the feeling and that's obviously addiction and obsession and that's where things come it's Scorpio, a Scorpionic sort of energy transformation and Saturnian, Pluto like kind of that deep karmic kind of energy Excuse me, I mean, is it karmic energy? Deep. Um, I just had the munchies, I just had a big bag of crisps, sorry. Can't really remember what I was saying. But yeah, anyway, it seemed like um, that's obviously part of the system. And so I think, you know, chisel by chisel. I want to knock, I know that I've knocked that down for myself for three years. Is playing small, playing in the shadows to being able to uh, survive what I did and like many of us surviving a lot of people chosen people or not whatever we consider ourselves a lot of people are getting tested their emotional resilience and their ca capacity and bandwidth for challenge and, and, and change is being accelerated like the engine is being revved up right now so that we can get our assignments and we can get our paths properly lined up for the highest timeline so yeah, that was the sign that came through is that if if we can all sort of harness the power to come out of the shadows and bring that sort of creativity in a, in a balanced way rather than let it be all consuming, how magical would the force between us all be? I mean, it's magical anyway because dark light is just all energy. We transmute, we can, can you know, do a lot of different things. Oh, right, just got a call. Ciao.